Yeah, um, that was a good game for us. You know, every time, you know, there's certain teams you play and, and you can just kind of test where you are. That Butler, you know, their discipline, their toughness always kind of, you know, always gives us trouble. And it, But it's always a good team we learn from. So um, a really good defensive effort on our part. We, you know, we got to get better offensively, obviously, but um, our defense and rebounding was, was, was really good tonight. And, um, and, and they're, they're a very good team. Um, someone asked me earlier, um, you know, you know what's wrong with Butler? They lost two in a row. There's nothing wrong with Butler. They played Seton Hall, might be one of the best teams in the country, and they, they went at DePaul, who's, beat, who's already beaten some of the best teams in the country. They're good. They're really good. It's just our league is going to be like this this year. It's going to be tough night in, night out. Yeah. Sadiq, Sadiq's just really be, become our best defensive player. You know, we just try to pick um, the guy that, that that we think is is hurting us the most, or you know, is going to hurt us the most. And and Baldwin, especially in that second half, when he started getting it going a little bit, um, we wanted to make sure we kept Sadiq on him. Um, and and you know, Sadiq can do that sometimes with bigger guys too. But um, he, he did a really good job tonight. Yeah, you know what? It was last year when we played Marcus Howard, if you remember, at the end of the game, he at Marquette, he stripped Marcus Howard at the end, and we were kind of desperate. We said, let's put some size on him, and then we realized, whoa, he's he's pretty good. <laughs> and so that's when it started last year. We, we have good mental toughness. We really do. We, and, and um, you know, we have our older guys. You know, even Demir, you know, he's not playing a lot, but on the bench he's talking to everybody all the time. Uh, Jermaine and, and Colin uh, have seen a lot. You know, they, they've been through a lot. Um, and, and I think it's their leadership. And then our younger guys just ha have come here with good mental toughness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if we did anything um, in particular to get him going again, but we we need him going, and that's really going to be the strength of our team um, is having multiple guys that can score and have balance. Um, we, we've needed that. We haven't been great at that yet. We we've had some balance, but we haven't been consistently having balance. That that's how we have to play. Um, it's it's not difficult to be patient with guys when you have really good older players. That um, you know we, we use this example with our guys. Sometimes you could you could throw guys in with Eric Pascal and Phil Booth. You could throw guys in with Jalen Brunson, and they can make mistakes, and they'll just cover for them. It's it's tougher this year when when everybody's kind of developing, you know. And, but I mean, everybody. I'm not. I'm just saying it's it wasn't that tough in the past. It's a little tougher this year. But our older guys are stepping up, and uh, you know, sophomores, you know, like Sadiq's playing like a, an older guy. Brandon Slater's giving us good minutes, and um, Cole's starting to play like an older guy. So it, that's helping. You say you have to work with Colin Cowan. Do you have to work with Colin? Yeah, yeah, you do. You know, there's, and that's why tonight, you know, you play a team like Butler. They're they're disciplined, they're physically tough, they're mentally tough, and that's a team that can break you if you're not. Um, get if you're if you're playing the way we played at Ohio State, that team just breaks you down. They make that run at you in the second half, and then they take over the game. Um, that's that's where you can see the improvement. Yeah, certainly. Jeff mentioned the Nathan didn't start off shooting so poorly, and then he went really good tonight. Really far behind Butler right tonight. Definitely the pivotal game in your opinion. Yeah, that was that was um, something that we take pride in. You know, our, our defense can be consistent. Our defensive rebounding. Making shots comes and goes, you know, and um, and I was I was feeling good about that. I wasn't sure those shots were going to start falling, but I was I was happy about our consistency defensively. Jake, twenty-one points from the free throw line, another great night of the line, but a lot of that has to do with how pleased you are with how a lot of your guys are attacking the basket and you guys focusing on the free throw line. 
we're getting we're getting better at that. We really are. As, as you know, there there have been games, some games earlier where we fall in love with the three, and we, and, we, and when we go to the basket, we're not going strong. You know, it's kind of to Dana's question that there there are things that guys just have to learn. They start going strong, but then they don't realize how physical the guys are they're playing against. You know, now they're, you know, you play against a team like Butler. You, um, you um, Connecticut had great shot blockers. We, we get a lot of shots blocked. We're learning. We're, we're, we're getting better. It was, that, it was good tonight. Um, getting to the foul line against this team was good. Um, man, it's uh, when you when you have good guys like we do, it's it's not hard. Those guys keep it going. The, the um, what's difficult for the coaching staff is making sure you keep picking those same kind of guys, no matter what position it is. I hope that makes sense. It's not these guys keep it going, but sometimes you can get lured in in recruiting to get a guy that looks good in recruiting but doesn't fit the culture and you gotta that's what you gotta fight. That's what's hard. Can your kids kind of help select where you want to play? Definitely. Definitely. Like um, you know, we talk to these guys about them. When the guys come and visit, we talk to them how what do you think? Do you think they'll get it? Um, you know, a lot of the guys that that we have played in the same programs as these guys and these guys will tell us, yeah, they're our kind of guy. They'll talk to the guys. It's a, it's a big part of our recruiting. Well, it, you know, we we got very lucky. We really did because we started to recruit him early, and I can't remember. I don't know if you remember, but somebody else c committed. We knew he was perfect for us, but somebody else committed um, before he did, so we didn't want to recruit someone else at his position. But we knew he came from Josh Hart's high school. Josh Hart, we loved him. And, um, and then – Things change, and then right at the end, he he went committed to NC State. We we were lucky. So as soon as he was available, we were like, we jumped on it because we knew exactly what he was all about. Does, does Butler empower the ball inside? You guys seem to have thrown a lot of great shots. Let's see if you stop that. How big a part of their game plan is it that they're coming in and playing in such a physical style? I think one of the things about playing Butler is that they can do everything. Like if they if they picked that going inside, like right early, they went right at Cole Swider and posted him up. If they pick that's what's effective, they're going to do it. If they pick, you know, that you can't guard screening action, they'll go to that. They have everything, so they're going to go at your weaknesses. And that's why I always love pl playing. I love playing them after it's over, but that you can tell what they pick against you, so you know where you got to get better. And so, um, you were shooting 37% tonight. How, what does that say about your Yeah, I, I, that's we, we have not been really efficient uh, offensively. You know, we, we've done a good job of defending and rebounding. Um, I think we can get a lot better efficiently, um, offensive efficiency-wise. But um, our defense and rebounding, that can, that can be consistent every night, and it's getting better. So they go with the team you really want to see try and find balls, and what did you try to do to stop them or pull them back? Well, we just played this team defense. Um, he's a real dynamic player, um, and just – and walk through and, and uh, our other team like during practice, it was just a good, good, great team effort um, and everybody locked into the scouting report. Yeah, on the rebounding front, it's kind of getting close to how effective is it to have a depth and Rob and all six or seven tones of the defense? It's, it's incredible. Um, you know, the NBA guys will say that's what transfers to the NBA from college is rebounding. And um, I always remember hearing them say that. So when I look at a guy in high school, I figure if it transfers to the NBA, then it must transfer from college, high school to college. And I remember watching him in high school. It, it, it was amazing. You know, all the guys on his team would score points. He'd get, you'd see him get like 15 rebounds. Sometimes in AAU, they didn't even count the rebounds. They just count the points. But you saw it. And it, it, he's just one of those old school guys that's got a natural knack for loving to go after the ball. He's got great hands, great positioning. And, and great physicality, especially for a freshman. And then when you get this group of freshmen that are coming in, you know, obviously you have some guys that feel like they have had a pretty good summer, but are you kind of going for it? Uh, I mean, I, I 
guess you could say that. But at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, staying confident and, you know, uh, going out there and try to make t uh, plays to put our team in the best situation. Just the culture of it and just being proud and having pride of the past players who play here. And just every day, I uh, just wanted to live up to them. And that's, that's like the motivation for me every day. Uh, yeah, I, I did it in high school, but I was a lot smaller at the time. So um, <laughs> so I, I kind of had to, but uh, so, but just uh, with luckily, with the, <laughs> God bless, the spirit, uh, I still guard it uh, in high school. It was gradual, to be honest. It was just, yeah, but uh, no, nah, so it was a lot of experience with that, though. I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> probably a little smaller than that, probably, even. Uh, to be honest, it's actually the team defense. Like I know that I would be able to rely on my teammates to help me if if I get you know blown by or if it's a miscommunication. But I just could depend on my teammates, so it makes it easier for for people to guard. Yeah, it's. You know, to be a good defensive player, you, you got to be able to play hard without without fouling. You know, it takes a lot of discipline, a lot of um, intelligence. You know, and 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 you know what? We got length for for we haven't been this long in a long time. That helps you too. You know, I think those three things: our length, our intelligence, and and discipline. Um, you can play real hard and physical, but you foul, and that, that doesn't that's not going to do you any good. Father, Rare, Father Rob's pregame prayers are not working this year. Uh, that's, I got to talk to him. I got to, I got to take him aside. No, you know what? It, it's true. I don't, I don't know what it is, man. I don't. Um, we got to, we got to figure it out. We really do because, it, I mean, you're going to get into a game, and especially on the road, and that's going to happen. You're not going to, you're not going to recover. Um, it, it's definitely something we, we have to address. I. I don't know. I, re I really don't know. I feel like we're ready. I feel like we're fired up. Um, I got to. I got to look at that. Well, we we had bad matchups. They they went at Cole Swider right away, and um, and then when we when we got Justin in there, we had better matchups. And you saw in the second half, we had better matchups with Cole in there. He was better. But their game. That's what I say about them. They're they're gonna they're very well coached. They're, they're very disciplined. They're gonna they're gonna have a game plan. They're gonna go at uh, some weakness that they see, and they were getting Cole on uh, Golden, and they got him on Enzi, and posted him up right away. And then so we got Justin in there, and and then we got um, Jermaine on Enzi. So that that wasn't all of it, but that was that was the adjustment we made. But then to begin the second half, Cole did a great job. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.